good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, uh, all of professionals in this webinar. One of the reasons I conduct study on the experience of women is women in childbirth and postpartum in exile is that there are phenomena that are uh, psychological value in the struggle of feminist women in Papua. Papua is one of the islands is in Indonesia. Maybe the committee can help me to show the PowerPoint because my internet connection is not good. Do you hear me? Sorry. It's quite well, we're hearing you, thank you. Yes. Uh, as Entirely as woman, business and uh, considered something disgusting and can carry dangerous risks for men. In addition, the death of mothers and babies are also considered a cause. Those who do not carry out this tradition will be subject to customary fines during the pregnancy and postpartum women are allowed to strenuous activities besides taking care of the household. Another thing that is a worry is that women who give must be exiled in the middle of forest alone and no one accompany with her. Even when giving birth, they cannot assist it by everyone or with uh, medical devices. You know, that's not easy for everything. Uh, the subject uh, when the birth, giving birth, sit on a hole that has been covered with wood and banana fronds or sago tree trunks as a place to hold the baby to burn. Then holds the pole with both hands will squatting. When the baby comes out, the subject cuts the placenta using the traditional bamboo tools instead of a knife. And the name place of birth, they called PFAC. This is a local customary regulations. Whoever violates it, the woman who violates it, it will be subject to customary sanctions. From these conditions, we understand that actually there is a problem it's not easy for a woman. Uh, for the fourth slide, I think. Yes. The obedience to hereditary cultural rituals, or sorry, maybe can back to third slide. I will show you about the, these conditions for giving birth. Uh, for the third, third slide, for the third side, yes, thank you. The subject sits on a hole that has been covered with wood and banana fronds or psycho tree trunks as a place to hold the baby to be born. Then holds uh, the pole with both hands with squatting. When the baby comes out, uh, the subject cuts a placenta using a traditional bamboo. 
Yes. Uh, next slide. The obedience to hereditary cultural ritual seems to ignore the behavior of maternal health standards, impacts on safety of both mother and baby. Health problem for mothers, 37.4% and babies, 43.3%, not safe their life. The experience of giving birth and postpartum independently in traditional and dangerous ways in exile is part of custom as cultural appreciations, local wisdom. And uh, the next, uh, this one is the conditions makes women is woman who give birth and postpartum have to be isolated away from community life in the forest or live in on the tree. See the left uh, picture? They living on the tree. Exile is carried out in Dukav with a room two by three meters without doors, which can be on the tree or below, like these pictures. So from this background, my research problem is, what are the positive values of women as women in interpreting their seclusions, especially hardiness to achieve psychological well-being, so they can endure suffering to provide the best for their families. And my aim is to find positive experiences and values that shape the hardiness and subjective well being of women. women. Our method is interpretative phenomenological analysis with qualitative method and indigenous psychology for a purpose. The unit of observation and analysis was one prima paris woman, one multi paris woman in Mandopu Tanah Merah and two grand multi paris women in Kewam, Mangalong. The data collection process, we use the semi-structures in depth interviews, observations, and lives ins were conduct to analyze the context and the content of phenomenological psychological experience. The result of our research found, first, positive thinking and beliefs. Have relief that although the subject experienced psychological distress and depressions in trying to give birth, although feelings of sadness disappointment and hurt must be accepted and for the sake of safety of unborn baby, the subject tries to survive in these conditions. They consider that experience of isolation positively. The second uh, result is spiritual and religion scoping, a step to experiencing spiritual well-being and makes them to in living the tradition. Spiritual values and local culture that were passed down from generation to generation were found to contribute to overcoming the psychological burden when undergoing exile so that a firm attitude was formed. Belief in God had so they can feel calm and comfortable even though the subject experiences suffering in exile, believes that the behind that suffering, there is to be strength. In the scriptures and the suffering is nature must be experiences and lived by a woman. Finally, 
our suggestion are first educational institutions and and non-government organizations also corporate social responsibility need to share resource to support the advancement the the advancement of education and several under developed areas to advance the values of life civilizations and psychological well-being for women giving birth while still paying attention to local wisdom developing holistic psychological inter intervention model for women in exile also our suggestions maybe art therapy like bate can be given train uh, when they have pregnancy work well in the exile so as they help fill the time productively in exile well the same time being able to express emotions and digest the values of life inscribed through batik paintings also our suggestion is counseling to support women in exile in homes facing the pressure of loneliness and isolation if through the pastors or priests they know that suffering will teach them resilience and hardiness then i think also through the pastors and our priests they can be taught about the importance of health that the body is the temple of god i hope one day i can uh, making a documentary film so as psychologically it can be a pressure for the government to pay attention to the this condition of women is as people in the rural area or hinterland this is my presentation and thank you very much for your attention i give back this time to the moderator thank you